Not only is ice cream my indulgence of choice, it's arguably an essential part of summer. But unfortunately, I couldn't get away with just daydreaming about ice cream on company time without pointing out some surprising small business insights. So. Ice cream businesses are emblematic of some key concepts, like the market-proof law of small indulgences and signs of what customers are really looking for these days. Ice cream really does have some shocking statistics. It's an $11 billion industry, one that is seeing especially strong gains in niche markets like low-calorie, sugar-free, lactose-free, and plant-based. There are more varieties than ever, and it's an industry that thrives on creativity. All the historic and recent bestsellers in the ice cream world were born of brave flavor combinations and niche problem solving. In fact, of all the videos I could be mentioning right now, we actually talked about ice cream in the algae video. It was featured on Algae Planet, so you know that it's good. Algae-based ingredients have been worked into ice cream recipes to improve texture. So how can entrepreneurs reach this very sweet market? Open up a shop, start your own branded product, sell from a mobile business, create a new topping, or tackle the niche market? Well, the options are as varied as the flavors. So let's just jump right in and figure out which of these business ideas might be the right one for you. And also, I promise that that's the end of the ice cream puns. It's a very natural reaction to try to do at least one. And I frankly showed a lot of restraint. Idea one, ice cream shop. Fun fact, most ice cream brand marketing is local and regional, meaning that your slice of the world probably has room for another local company versus competing mostly on a national level. Entrepreneurs like Rob Hess, founder of my local Go ice cream shop, are doing this very thing. Go has found a winning recipe, sorry about the pun, by creating inventive small batch flavors and selling them at their retro inspired shop. At first, Rob started by renting a commercial kitchen space in the evenings and hustling small batch pints mostly on weekends. And thanks to his creative flavors and years of dedication, in 2016, he was able to open up a brick and mortar shop. With a mission to build community and create a positive environment for employees, Rob is one of many entrepreneurs finding success in modern ice cream businesses. So whether your ice cream shop is hosting community events, committed to compostable packaging, or providing plant-based options, there's a lot of room for a creative entrepreneur like you. Idea two, mobile ice cream. If your mission is to reach customers where they are, then consider a mobile ice cream business. We actually had an email request to explain a bit more about ice cream bikes, so this is perfect. Guess how our friends over at Go Ice Cream got started? With a vintage 1946 Worksman tricycle. Every Thursday night, Rob Hess was out there making locals fall in love with his indulgent recipes, and that helped him get his own location. If slinging scoops and working on your cardio sounds like your kind of summer, make it happen like Rob did. And with all that community interaction, you're sure to gather some useful market research along the way. As we saw with Go, an ice cream bike, truck, or van can be a low investment way to test out a concept, build a customer following, and fine tune your products all while capturing sales. Or if being mobile is too good to give up, stick to it. They're really cool. There are some genuinely fun mobile models out there. And to our emailer who was asking about ice cream businesses powered by bikes, we're actually working on a more in-depth guide that should cover some more details. So keep an eye out on how to start an LLC.com. That guide should be up soon. Idea three, niche markets. Are you lactose intolerant, gluten-free, avoiding sugar, have a nut allergy? If so, you are in good company. Actually, there are a lot of people living with dietary restrictions, like me, and a lot of other people who just want to try something different. 
Enter the fastest growing segment of the ice cream industry, the niche market. All those specialty, premium, and non-traditional varieties command high sales and loyal followings. Consider how many brands have exploded recently by creating alternatives to traditional ice cream, like plant-based versions using coconut and almond milk. I hear there's an algae milk in development on theme, and that's just the beginning. <laughs> The founders of the very innovative Rebel Ice Cream, Courtney and Austin Archibald, set out to keto-fy their favorite ice cream recipes. And in the process, they created a standout line of flavors with the lowest glycemic index on the market. Also, this is my one and only chance to try to get sponsored by them. Anything it takes to try to offset my pint habit, call me. Idea four, ready to eat products. Now we enter the world of ready to eat ice cream. Yep, that's all those pints, gallons, and pops we have a hard time choosing between in the frozen section. Even you, SpongeBob on a stick. You belong here too. Remember earlier when I mentioned the market law of small indulgences? Well, it's not SpongeBob. The definition is simple and relatable. Stressed out consumers want to indulge in affordable luxuries and seek ways to reward themselves. So keep this phenomenon in mind. You can accomplish this in a ready to eat product through high end branding of cheap ingredients, making mini versions, using nice biodegradable packaging, introducing rare flavors. There is so much room to indulge your creative side. Once you decide on a product or product line, you can actually just keep it small batch with a strategy to sell to local shops, grocers, restaurants, and cafes. Idea five, toppings. You probably thought that was the end of the line. Well, not yet. We need toppings. Toppings are very important to some people for ice cream. Even Ben & Jerry's is starting to sell just the toppings of some of their top flavors. You can browse the frozen aisle and you can get a bag of Ben & Jerry's cookie bits, brownie bites, and more to mix in at your discretion. Innovative entrepreneurs are realizing that customers want more. And probiotics, protein, fiber, even CBD are all gaining popularity. And whether you're selling your toppings to ice cream shops, packaging them for retail or selling direct to consumer over the internet, the possibilities are never ending. Never ending like my love for Rebel Ice Cream. I'm serious, call me. If you're looking for a hyper creative way to offer the world some small indulgences it simply can't resist, then an ice cream business may be perfect for you. And we wouldn't blame you at all if you wanted to start out with like some of those little sampler scoops. Maybe just to do some flavor research on some of those new pints or hit up an ice cream shop for some market research. I won't tell, I might see you there. Small businesses are the lifeblood of every community. We want you to be passionate and prepared for a lifetime of entrepreneurship. If you're looking for more inspiration, we made some free tools to generate ideas, find a name, and form your business. Find free resources and guides at truic.com.